All right, here we go. Coach Carl, Coach Aaron. What's up, guys? And we'll run a wide receiver advantage drill today. So this drill, we have a quarterback here. We have two lines. And then we have a box. Coaches, I've started this box at eight yards. And it's nine yards wide. We're not even going to use the whole box to start. In this drill, the wide receiver is going to run a go route. Sometimes I actually think this is really replicable for a fade, but to start, he's going to run straight ahead. My defender is trying to guard him, and my quarterback is trying to put a, put a ball over top and complete this pass. What you're going to see here, we'll start running this drill. I want to use our body. I mean, this is a perfect rep right here. This is a perfect rep. I want to use the receiver to use body position to keep that defender off him and then keep running. Let's see the next rep. That's a great catch by Jack, though. All right, next rep. Boom. We're taking off. Ball comes over top. Okay, here's a good question to think about right now. A lot of people really like back shoulder balls right now. This kind of looks like a back shoulder ball unintentionally, right? I don't want to throw back shoulder balls in this drill. The point of this drill to me is that the receiver is using his body position to keep the defender on his hip and then it's going to fade out to catch this ball, right? So it's a lot like a fade route, except we're not doing a little shimmy at the start, right? So I don't really want to throw back shoulder balls in this drill. If that's part of your offense, if that's something you want to do, you can do that. But I don't think that's what we're doing right now. Okay, here's a great rep from a great football player that I don't, I don't really like this rep. Okay, what I want my receivers to do is run straight ahead and be using their body positioning to create this space. This space is the receiver's space. Right, but you can see when we start this rep, now he's shrunk his space to two yards. The ball's just out. He shrunk his space even more now, right? So he ends up making this play. It's a great catch, but I would rather have him run straight at the start and then fade out. Great, it's a good catch though. Now, the second time we go through this drill, that was the first part. Kids will run this drill forever. Now, the second variation of this drill, if you can see a little bit, I moved this cone up one yard, okay? So now, it's the same drill, but we're just kind of adding another wrinkle to it. We're moving on the offensive player's movement. So the offensive player goes off, same drill, the defense has to react. That's a great rep by Colin. We can catch that ball. Good ball by Jackson. Oh, that's a good ball. Here we go. Defender's moving on, is it? Good job, offensive person. Hey, look, except for the fact that we don't catch this ball, this is a great rep. The receiver takes off. Man, I love drills that have all, like uh, visual cues. So offense moves, defense moves on his movement. Boom, now watch how this receiver is running straight ahead. He's running straight ahead. And now when the ball gets released, he has all this space to fade into. And, he, and that's great, except for the fact that we don't catch it. It's a great rep. Right, let's go cut more of these ones. Offensive player, good job. So we don't track the ball here very well, but the offensive player is doing a good job running his line, keeping that defender on his hip. We just got to get our head inside a little sooner, track this ball a little better, and that can still be a catch. Last rep here. Okay, so here's an example of young Najee, who we love, but he's running out, he's giving ground before he needs to, right? So let's watch his route right now. Oh, sorry, let's watch his route right now. He's giving ground a little too soon, and that gives the defender space to catch up with him. Okay, great. That's part one and part two of that drill, and now we're going to fast forward to the third part of this drill. Okay, here we go. Great. So the third part of this drill is we're moving the offensive line, so I want my offensive line to be three yards from this cone right now, so we're creating a tight window. So my offense is now inside, and my defense is outside, and we're running a seam. We actually did this drill wrong, if you look at this. So I'm telling the kids that we want to run a skinny post here. See how he breaks that off? He breaks that off way too soon, right? I told the kids when I gave them instructions that I wanted to run a skinny post. So come up and then break it in a little bit. But if I were going to do this drill again, I would actually just tell them to run a go route and to keep them on their hips so we have this space now. Now, my quarterbacks should be reading the defender. So if my defender is behind, we want to send this ball over top, just like we did over top over here. We want to send this ball over top because if we throw the ball on a line, then we give a defender a chance to get back in the play. The wide receiver just needs to keep running here. You're going to say this to the kids all the time in their drill. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Here's a good example of, why, of where we don't want to throw this quick, quick inside pass. My defender here is already, you can see he's already trailing. Let's play a little bit. He's trailing, he's trailing, he's trailing. Now, the space to throw this ball 
is over top. We always say as receivers, if we're even, we're leaving. The space to throw this ball is over top. The quarterback throws a direct pass here, and it gives this trailing defender a chance to get his hand in there, make that play. Let's see another couple reps. Receiver, good job, good get off. That's a perfect rep. Let's watch that again. Here's a perfect rep. Receiver's running the line. He's holding the guy on his hip. The ball goes over top. It's a great rep. See another one here. Colin, he's got the defender. He's already stacked him. So a couple things, that's fine. We're going to complete this pass. But if we go back, don't you feel like he could run this route harder and faster? One of the things we want to ask for the kids in their practice is go full speed, full effort, right? Does this look like it? Uh, maybe, maybe, right? But if he's really burying his head and going, I think we'll do a better job. Let's get one more rep and get out of here. Our Norwegian dream. Okay, this is a good job by the defender of just being physical and kind of just overpowering him a little bit, right? Let's watch it in slow-mo. If our receiver holds that line and keeps running, doesn't get bullied too much inside, it's a good rep by the defender. Here's our last rep, Zoya. We stack the defender. Don't throw that ball. That ball should go over top. You can see already she stacked them. If we're even, we're leaving. She has them stacked. Send that ball over top. All right, here we go. Hey, this is a great drill, man. Kids love this drill. You can rep this as any other variations. But remember, we did it. We did go routes with the defender even. The second time through, we did a go route, but on the offensive person's movement. So the defender was starting a little bit sooner. And the third time through, we had an offensive person inside, defense inside. But hey, it's just like getting a rebound. Body position, body position, body position. And we're done. Let's get our work in. See you out there.